Hey, Jimmy with Cuff and Stuff. Well, today we got a new toy. We have a vertical cabinet smoker. It's never had a fire in it. We're gonna clean it out, season it, and get it ready to use tomorrow for a cook. So, hang tight. Okay, so this is the old country barbecue pit. This is the smokehouse. This is about six foot tall. It has a burner chamber in the bottom. Um, it did not come with these gauges. I put these three gauges on it. It has a nice shelf on the outside and also a space underneath you can put your wood or charcoal or whatever you're gonna use. It's got a nice size vent on the front so you can regulate it. Down in the bottom, it's got a place for you to put whatever it is you wanna put in it. Um, you can put wood directly on it, charcoal. You can put a charcoal basket. There are a lot of different things that you can add down here. Look in the top, opening it up. It has three pull out racks in the top. And also a nice size water pan underneath. That's gonna that's gonna be nice. It's got two that look to be five inch, maybe, smokestacks. They both have caps on them that you can close. And the whole thing is on a set of wheels at the bottom and you can actually move this thing around now, the one thing it does not have, it's got casters on the front, but they don't have brakes on them. And that's something I may change out and put a set with brakes. So, let's start with what we're gonna do to clean it out. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is take these racks out. Now, they've got some oil on them that I don't want to burn off and get all in my smoker. So I'm going to take probably a Brillo pad and soap and water and I'm going to wash them down. You probably won't be able to tell any difference. I can feel a little bit of oil on it, but I'm going to pull all three of these out. I'm going to wash them out, get them dried off good. And once I do, I'll bring you back. Okay, well, first we're going to start seasoning by i'm just going to use pam now this is uh, canola oil that's a high temp you use whatever high tip oil you want to i don't know that i would use um, some of the lower temperature oils um, i've just always felt like you should treat your smoker like you do cast iron and season it like that so what I'm gonna do is, this is just easier in a spray can to me. I'm gonna take and I'm just gonna spray the inside of this door and I'm gonna spray it down good. And I'm gonna spray every inch of this door. Some under here. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on the inside. Now these, I dried off with a torch. <laughs> so they're still just a hair warm. That's okay. It's not gonna hurt a thing. I'm gonna get the top. 
back. Make sure I get both sides. One thing I didn't show you, this thing has six sausage hangers. Isn't that cool? I'm gonna spray them too. I just wanna make sure all this gets a good coat. Now, let's put our racks back in. Now, I want to get a good coat on these racks. And pay attention to how shiny these racks are. They're good and clean right now. And there's the first can. And that was a full can. Okay, that's got the first rack. All right. How about that? Huh. All right. Now, we've got her oiled up good. What's the next thing we need to do? We need some heat, so let's build a fire. Okay, well, we stuck a charcoal basket, homemade, it's one I just been up put together. And we're gonna stick a chimney lit charcoal in it. There we go. Got the charcoal going. Got some oak here. I'm gonna throw a couple of sticks in it. Close it up. I've got the vents wide open. I've got the stacks wide open up here so we're off let's see if we can get this booger hot well we're three hours in on this burn in the season on this new cooker we're nothing but heat out the stacks we are by the gauges uh 400 or so pretty close with this one with that one is a little below and then that one is also a little below so it's showing by the gauges that it's hottest at the top that makes sense let's open the door and see how this seasoning process is going Oh yeah, all right, well see, we're getting a nice brown. I don't know whether you can see this. But instead of just bright, shiny metal, and it's still shiny, but it's got a nice brown color, which means it's doing what we want it to do. So, closing back up and let's keep cooking. Well, we've been going four hours. We've lost all our light. It's dark out here, but during the last four hours, one of the things that has struck me is all three of these gauges have stayed relatively close. This one is a little higher. This one might be, I don't know, maybe 10 degrees. It doesn't look like it. It looks like about five degrees higher than the other two. 
and I guess that's to be expected at the top. But after four hours, let's take a look inside and see what we got. I see a brown coating over the top of this metal. It is, and I'm not sure you can see, but inside it has a sheen over it, but it's dry. There's a sheen over the door and there's a good coating. There's also over the, uh, and let me see if I can turn the camera over here so you can see, but all three of these brand new probes have a nice brown coating over the top of them. So, you know, I, I would say that this is seasoned. Now, it smelled like paint burning to start with, and I'm sure that was some of the oil, not just paint, but some of the oil burning on the inside. Um, I have kept this up pretty much. Uh, we've gotten over 400 degrees in here, so it's cooked pretty good, and I can see on the inside where it's done. Now, I don't have the water pan in it. I will when I do a cook. So I'm gonna have to really watch the temperatures and see what the temperatures do with a water pan in it and get used to this cooker. But so far, um, the temperatures have stayed pretty steady. Um, I can see dry back here. It looks like the heat comes up toward the back half. And that's okay, we'll live with that. But until we start doing a cook in it, um, as far as the seasoning part goes, I think we've got it. So as always, thanks for hanging around. If you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you hit the circle on this side. We'll have another video over here. Until the next time, hang tight.